Today we're going to be talking about the Terex 2 Boa. So I feel like innovation in running shoes is somewhat rare now. So I love to see shoes that are challenging what's normal. Because of that innovation, this review might take a little bit longer than the other ones because I want to cover that innovation in depth. And that innovation is obviously the lacing system, so let's just jump into it. I believe they call it the BOA system. It is advertised as a finely tuned, secure, consistent hold. It looks cool and I was super excited to try it. And I have some complaints, but I also have some things I like about it. So let's talk about the complaints first. The first thing isn't really a complaint, but it's a potential complaint. I'm worried about the durability of the clicker. I've been on a couple dozen runs and I'm about around 150 miles in these shoes and it shows no sign of wear and tear. But if I happen to smash this clicker onto a rock, is it gonna hold up? Or will it break? Or will the clicker just wear out over a year of continual use? I assume that Adidas took that into consideration and made a good product, but that's something that only time will tell. But if anything does happen to these shoes that I feel like you guys should know, I will let you know in the comments below. My second complaint is I'm not really a fan of how the shoe tightens. Since the clicker is at the top of the shoe, the top of the shoe tightens quickly and the rest of the shoe doesn't adjust equally. Think about when you tie a normal shoe. You usually grab the laces in the middle and tighten those so that you get a nice snug fit in the forefoot and then you grab the ends of the laces and tighten that top section. With this shoe, it doesn't work like that. With these shoes, the string has no friction so you can't tighten the bottom half of the shoes with your fingers because as soon as you let go, it loosens. This is slightly frustrating, but I don't feel like it's a deal breaker. Especially since I've noticed that as I'm running, the tension distributes more equally throughout the shoe and then I can tighten it again. One thing I do really like about this lacing system is how quick it is. It's so easy to loosen and tighten these shoes. Whether you're just putting them on or you want to crank them down a little bit tighter on the fly, you don't have to take the time to untie and then retie these shoes for just minor adjustments. With this new lacing system, the strings are significantly thinner than normal shoelaces. So to protect the top of your feet, they incorporated a slightly thicker EVA tongue. Even though the tongue is slightly thicker than other similar tongues, it's still breathable. One huge improvement that they made to the tongue is the notch that they put at the top of the tongue. Almost every shoe that I've had that Adida makes with an EVA tongue, the tongue will slide to one side while I'm running, exposing my socks, which allows more dirt and sand and rocks to get in there. But with this notch, it prevents that from happening. As an important side note though with this tongue, I have heard people complain about the tongue irritating that top section of their foot, but I run in crew length socks so I don't have that issue. But if you do run in low cut socks, that's something you might wanna take into consideration. Along with the tongue being breathable, this shoe has mesh in the areas that also need to be breathable. And you can see the plastic welding in the front for protection and across the top for that solid fit that you want. The toe box on this shoe is actually significantly wider than the other Adidas shoes that I've worn. And I actually like that, but some people like the narrow width of normal Adidas shoes, so if that applies to you, you might want to keep that in mind when you're thinking about buying this shoe. The cushioning in the shoe is EVA, and I have no real complaints here. I feel like it is the most cushioned Adidas shoe that I've run in that uses EVA for its cushioning. The EVA seems to be quite a bit lighter than the boost material, so that makes the shoe a lightweight, less clunky running shoe that still has a lot of cushion. The traction on the shoe is made with the usual continental rubber that Adidas uses. I've always found it to be durable and long lasting and I've found no difference in this shoe. I do wish the lugs were a little bit longer on this shoe. They're not as aggressive as I like the lugs to be on my running shoes, but that probably won't bother most people. Some of the trails I run have rock slides you have to cross and they have jagged rocks. And on those sections, I found myself wanting a bit more protection on the forefoot. But besides that, on any normal section, 90% of the time, I have liked the protection and the cushion that these shoes provide. Coming in at 11 and a half ounces for a size nine, this shoe is mid-weight leaning to the heavy side. And the heel to toe drop comes in at six millimeters, which is also pretty average. In terms of looks, I think I'm somewhat biased here because I like anything that looks different, and these shoes are no exception. I was lucky enough to get a limited edition, no dye, all white version, and you don't see all white trail shoes very often. Together with the lacing system, I get quite a few people staring at my shoes on the trail. 
I have heard some people complain online that they look like golf shoes, but that doesn't really bother me. Overall, I think the shoe is a good choice for an everyday, moderately aggressive running shoe. I feel like this could also be a great shoe for someone who runs on the road to get to the trail or does a combination of both, or someone wanting a lightweight shoe with a decent amount of cushion. Deciding on a trail shoe is ultimately a very personal decision, but I hope this review helped you decide whether or not this shoe is a good fit for you. If you have any additional questions or need clarification on something that I talked about, let me know in the comments. I'll get to those as soon as I can. And don't forget I will be updating you in the comments if anything happens to this shoe that I feel like you guys should know about. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching.